Jamie, fantastic to see you back after a year out. You had your problems outside the ring. While they were ongoing, did you ever think that your career might be over? No, no, I thought we'd always be back on track, but um, always got our faith. And, uh, back to where it is now, that's it, it's left in the past. Always look, to the fo always look forward. So have you been constantly in the gym f during that period? Yeah, I've been constantly, apart from about a month. And then, uh, yeah, just been in the gym, every, every, same as usual. Sparring all the top guys and uh, training hard, harder than ever. How frustrating is it when you, you can't fight for, at that time and you're training with lads that are being given dates and they're speaking to you excitedly about what's coming up for them? Uh, yeah, that's good for them, but I know my, my time will come soon. So, you know, I just got to concentrate on myself, put the work in and I know what I can do with them guys. So, uh, and they, they know that's the most important thing. And um, yeah, they know I'm on their tail. During your time away, have you, have you, would you say you've actually improved in the gym and learnt more? Yeah, obviously the more, the, the more working with John and, and um, the team, uh, down at Team Des Fitness, getting the conditioning, more condition. The rounds are getting easier, getting more smarter, and it's showing in the boxing. Mm. Tell us a bit about your relationship with John. You're, you're very close, I think you stay with him during the week when yeah. you're there. Yeah, I stay with John, obviously. I've been staying with John for a long time, known him a long time now. So it's, it's like home from home for me, family, from one family to another. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's great and uh, great training. And, uh, and uh, obviously we have a great bond. Your last three fights you've had on Box Nation haven't lasted very long. All gone in the, in the first round, combined yeah. total of about six minutes. Is Martin Fidel Rios the person that's going to give you the rounds and give you a challenge? We shall see. He's meant to be a good fighter, and uh, I look forward to seeing what he has to offer. And uh, you know, I, know I, I believe I will get rid of him before the, the rounds. So, when you're knocking out these guys in a round, are you wishing they could take it a bit more, so you could show a bit more of your repertoire? No, I want to. I do. I do that all in the gym. So uh, the earlier, the better for me. You spar with a lot of fighters, uh, you know, all around the world and Britain. Who's the best fighter you spar with? Uh, I'd say Canelo Alvarez is the best, the best I've sparred, best fighter, uh, punches harder than some cruiserweights that I spar, so yeah, he's the, he, he's the best fighter that I, I work with, and um, yeah, you know, it was, it was great work, really good work, and uh, you know, they're impressed, so um, you know, show that over here. Before we go back to yourself, could he beat Golovkin? I believe he'll beat Golovkin, I believe, I believe Alvarez will be beat him. I've, if everyone's saying about his power, I think Canelo's just as strong, so it comes down who's the smarter and better boxer, and I believe Canelo is. They're at a, a, an ultimate stage where you see yourself getting in the next 12 mm -hmm. to 18 months. Which of the current world champions appeals to you the most to face? Me, J James DeGaulle's the best, best world champion. So for me, I want to fight the best, and James DeGaulle, uh, that would be my ideal to fight the best man. You sparred with James? I sparred with James. What was, what was that like? <laughs> Yeah, good work, good work. Uh, you know, I don't like to talk about it, but James, James, knows, James knows what I'm about, and that's the main thing. And of course, you're, if you win this fight against Rios, now it's now a non-title fight, you're likely to go in the WBO top 10. Gilberto Ramirez, another great champion for you to face. Yeah, all of them. You, you know, there's some great fights here in Britain as well. You've got George Groves there, Ramirez, Abra Abrahams, any of them. I'll be... Uh, like I said before, just pick, pick one. Let me fight. Let, give me the opportunity. Let me fight, and I'll show everyone. And uh, that's 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 the main thing: getting the opportunity. So, you know, while I'm working hard in the gym, doing what I have to do, Frank, Jason McClory, my, my uh, manager, they, you know, they 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 figure it out and uh, get me the opportunity. And when I do, I won't just win it. I'll remain there. And you, in 12 months' time, what title would you see around your waist? 12 month world title, any of them. Any of them particularly? Mm, doesn't bother to me. They're, they're for my mother. I just, it's the person. For me, it's about the man. The best man, James DeGale. So give me James DeGale.